Hi again. In this session, we will look at the, a premium that is paid at the beginning of a period, not necessarily a year, but uh, any period. Uh, and this is not realistic. In, uh, I, when I was working in one organization, they used to deduct from my payroll the premium for the life insurance. And my payroll was every uh, bi-weekly, every two weeks. So every two weeks when I receive my payroll, there is a deduction of the premium. So it's not paid like what we did in the past. We uh, paid at the end of the year, at the beginning of the year, the premium. Now it's paid at the beginning of each two weeks. It, so M will be uh, like uh, every two weeks, right? So in the year, there are 26 two weeks. But it, maybe we can uh, look at M, the general form. So it's the same thing. We need to equate the insurance uh, the expected value of the benefit uh, paid uh, for by, uh, by the insurance, we equate it with the expected value of the premiums received by the insurer. So this, in this case, let's take the whole uh, life insurance. So because it's paid amply, amply, we give like uh, 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 M on top of uh, like a super superscript on top of the M, right? And then you can write whatever we used to write. But let's take the first case of AX, continuous, right? So this one is straightforward. We have the AX. So the insurance is paid at the moment of death because it's continuous. However, the premium is, is paid for uh, uh, every, at the beginning of the mth year. So at the beginning of the mth year. And you can have all the formulas, but let's take one example on this one. So the M can be any any M. So if it's paid, the premium is paid quarterly, then M will be 4. If paid weekly, it will be 52. In my case, I was paying every two weeks, so it will be 26 weeks. But let's take one example of monthly uh, insurance. So we want to find find maybe I just make it smaller a little bit uh, premium for 12 so the premium is paid uh, monthly for a life insured at 40 and the insurance is paid uh, at moment of death so in telling us to using life table So we need to use life table, but let's sp spill, uh, write the formula, and then we see what we are missing so we can calculate. P12 A40 bar is A40, this is what we know, divided by, remember, the annuity, and this is discrete for 40, age 40. I'm applying this rule here, right? And this one is a 12. This should conform, conform with this one because the premium is the one that is uh, is being paid using the annuity, right? So let's get one by one. And now also using life table and assuming we need assumption of UDD, uniform distribution of death. We need to have this assumption. So now we need these two terms. So let's start with A40. Now we need to assume, uh, again, it tells us assuming U, U, UDD. So UDD, moving from here to here. Then this can be written I. You need to re review your note, but by now you should know it. Over delta and A40. Right. So we need A40. We go to the life table. Right, so let's go to the life table and see uh, what we have here. I go to my, I put it in PDF and then open. So I need to select this one. And this is, I usually, as I mentioned, I usually keep it here. It's easier for me to read, well, uh, uh, to read from the paper, but because I want to show you here. So now we have I, again, for life table, all uh, the, this life table is 5%. So we have 0, 0,5, oh, sorry, 
divided by ln or 105 because delta we find it from ln 105 a 40 we go to 40 we need to get this one one two one zero six if you use your calculator here which i will do quickly so i have 0 0.05 divided by ln 105 i keep everything in the calculator so i don't lose any decimal So I got it to be A40 to be 124 So we got the first we got the first one Now we need the second one There are different ways to calculate this one let's look at both of them so we can see two different ways So the first way let's look at the easiest way the first way, the easiest way, you remember that we have alpha 12 multiplied by A40 plus, oh, sorry, minus beta 12. Where we get alpha 12 or uh, uh, beta 12, usually uh, the, uh, in, if you're writing Society of Actuaries exams, they are provided to you. We go back to the life table again. The life table by now you should have them printed so you know where to find them the last page we should find the last page this one okay. so alpha 12 you look at alpha and you look at a 12 and then we need beta 12 so alpha 12 is one three zeros two two and now a 40 now this one here uh, which is 18.45 seven eight right are you following me now we need to subtract from it beta 12 which is zero five zero eight two now if you do this calculation here you should be able to get seventeen point nine nine five So you got the two things you need now for uh, your calculation. So all you need to do, you block them in. You block them, let me use different color here. So we get the first one is 0 0.1241 divided by 17995. I got zero zero six eight nine four and this is very small number because this is one unit of insurance like it's very small number it's one let's we need to understand this one what we mean by and what is this one p 12 for a 40 what does it mean you know mortality rate for somebody at age 40 is very low very low so the premium for whole life insurance for somebody uh, at uh, reach a, uh, age 40 very likely life expectancy for somebody's age 40 it would be above 80 right so very likely the payment the one dollar payment will be paid on average way in the 80s in 50 40 years from now on average so to like what the premium I should pay uh, and this one we need to read it carefully here this is annual premium 
paid monthly. This is not the deduction from your uh, paycheck, the monthly. This is for the whole year. But the monthly, because this is 12, the monthly you still need to take this 16, uh, this uh, 006894 and divide it by 12 to get how much every month you pay, right? Because this is 12, right? So this is the annual premium paid monthly. Right? And it's obviously it's very low because the one dollar likely it will on average it will be 50 years from now, you know, too. And you will pay every year, every year, every year for that amount. So you pay a little bit. Uh, so this one we need to divide it by still you need to divide it by another uh, 12 to get the monthly paycheck. As I promise, you know, this there is another way to calculate this A12. I use the, a, the easiest way. Just to remind you, if you know, if you not, you need to know both. Maybe alpha 12 and beta 12 is not given to you, and you need to know both. So how you calculate this one? This one is a little bit tricky, right? So we, we need to start, this one is equal to 1 minus A 12 40. Divided, you go back to your note. Then now we take the this one, we take it here, A, this one will take I over I 12, A 40. Now A 40, this is, you find it uh, already, we, we, we got it. A40 is 12105 12 is 12 uh, now 105 raised to 1 over 12 minus 1 multiplied by A40 and A40 we said it's 1241 So you get A40, 12 to be, you already calculated it. Uh, um, just one second, one. No, not one, two, four, one, sorry. This one, two, one, zero, six. No. Well, let's go back to the life table. We need A40 from the life table. That one is the continuous case, the one I copied. But we go back here. It's not a big deal here. 1, 2, uh, 1, 0. One, two. One two one zero six, and this will give you point one two four zero six. No, so right. So now you got this one. Uh, I mean, I already uh, we got this one is uh, point one two three. Eight zero uh, eight one. Now what you still need is still the D twelve. D twelve is twelve one minus V one over twelve. V is uh, like uh, using I five percent. And now if you calculate, you block them back, you should get exactly the same one. So obviously this one is not the most efficient one, it's harder, but it's you need to know both because you never know the question, maybe uh, it will be not the 12, maybe you will, uh, you know, remember the table has a specific number of, year, of years, right? So you have 1, 2, 4, 12. What if it's 52 weeks, weekly? What if it's uh, uh, instead of uh, like every uh, four months, then you don't have it? Right? So it will be three times a year. So it's good to know both ways. So the, the point is now, 
move on to the rest. I mean, the rest should be the same because we've done all those uh, equations. But remember, here what we looked at, we looked at the case of M, the premium for M for the benefit is paid continuously, and we said AX over A M X. Now, you can have the rest of the other formulas. What if you wanted to find PM? Now, A x n this is there is no one here so right this will be a x n divided by right it's now divided by a x because this is a, a term then n and there is m here right so we need to be then you can do all other uh, formulation if there is one here you put one if there is you know, like you have all the variation and then if you using the life table, then you can use this one, you know, to the discrete case, but you need to split this one. So you can do everything we did again, like for instance, you can do, let's take a harder one here. This can be again, now we need to read it carefully. This H it's for, let's start with H. So for the, uh, for the premium is paid monthly. Right, it says it's it's here. It says it's not monthly M period, but it for for X, but this only paid for H period. However, the X here, A X is paid for N. Right, you can have so many all the other formulas. You can derive them. They, we don't need to derive them uh, again. But and you can now mix mix between you know like what if like now what if benefit is paid end of year so now benefit is not continuous we do the same thing if benefit let's say we go here and we change everything so now pm whatever monthly yearly annually x we don't have a bar x this one will right away we'd know that is a x because it's discrete there is nothing tells us there is no bar anywhere to tell us that is continuous and then the same logic here sorry a x m right same logic here what if you wanted to find m a x n divided by also a x n but this one is paid monthly again the, the p with m this is for the premium how it's paid and this it goes for the uh, the annuity that is usually used for the premium right what if you have p m x n this then this one will be a x one n over a the denominator the same what if you have p a premium is paid month uh, mp for every m period but it's not for the whole period but only for h x this whole life insurance but only paid for x only for h and paid M, every M period. This can have, we can have all the variety of other things. This is the same thing for the insurance is it's discrete. We don't have anything to tell us otherwise. And it's endowment. So there is no one. But for the premium is not for N period. The premium is only paid for X. And now it's it. And it's paid Empty, right so again variety you can mix and choose as long as you know the uh, logic everything is fine even with that you still have questions that none of them uh, none of these formulas work so you can derive your own formula and that's what we will do next uh, session is when all the formulas you know don't work and that's why we don't need to memorize we need to know the logic and then we derive our formula that's what we will do in the last uh, session